so we've seen how learning rate affects the learning process. Then, how do we choose it? Unfortunately, there's no universal answer. Choosing the learning rate is heuristic. We pick it manually, or use automated search methods. There's no single optimal learning rate for all datasets, because each dataset has different numerical characteristics. Some loss surfaces are shallow, others are steep, and sometimes the curvature is highly asymmetric, like this direction here. Feature scaling can help smooth some of these issues, but even then, a single perfect learning rate for all data simply doesn't exist. So how do we find a good value? We try many candidates, using grid search or random search, and see what works best. There are also methods that don't keep the learning rate fixed. A classical approach is to decrease eta over iterations. One on the first iteration, one half on the second, and so on. We can also adapt it dynamically. If the loss decreases well, we increase the learning rate slightly. If it shows signs of divergence, we decrease it. Modern algorithms usually maintain the learning rate when the loss is improving, and reduce it only when the loss plateaus. Separately from scheduling the learning rate, we also use optimizers like Atom to solve the inefficiency caused by zigzagging on asymmetric contours. Optimizers adjust the learning rate for each parameter automatically, 